Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading will be a love spread to look at the current situation between you and the person that you think of as a love partner or a relationship partner or divine partner. We'll look at your current energies and regarding this relationship, your hopes and desires and possible actions you might take. We'll also look at theirs and then we'll look at the common energies between the two of you. We'll go ahead and get started. And thank you guys so much for taking time to view this video. All right, Spirit, please connect with Pisces, viewers and subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self to get the messages that we need for Pisces soul's journey. All right, here we go, Pisces. So what might your current feelings or situation be with this person? And we have the Six of Cups. So for some of you, this is somebody from the past that you're thinking about and we are in the shadow phase of mercury retrograde and today is also a full moon so it's very it makes a lot of sense that you might be completely in your feelings right now thinking back on past relationships for some of you this is also referencing a soulmate connection for hopes and desires you are in fact hoping for some type of communication and clarity in this situation some new um new a new beginning that gives you some type of victory as well. And what might your possible actions be? So it seems as though there's a couple things. You, you're definitely in a period of waiting, um, definitely wanting something long-term and wanting to grow um, with this person. Okay, now we'll go ahead and take a look at their energies. Spirit, please connect with Pisces lover and love interest to get the messages Pisces needs for their soul's journey. Please connect with Pisces love interest and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self to get the messages Pisces needs regarding this love union. Spirit, what is Pisces lover's current feelings, hopes, and desires, and possible actions, please? What might Pisces lover or love interest be thinking and feeling, and what is their current energies? Okay, here we go, guys. So your lover right now, Pisces, we have the seven of wands. So they're deaf, they're, a couple things came to me simultaneously, three things. They're standing their ground. They may have their boundaries up. They, they definitely are in a position where they want to have advantage. Um, and they're also willing to fight for what they want. But I'm, I'm getting, we'll get clarification. Okay, so what is Pisces lovers' hopes and desires? So we have the queen of swords. So some of you, you know, might have been dealing with kind of a curt situation or very difficult situation with this person or this person this person is thank you spirit so this person seems to be very much on guard and may even be very defensive their hopes and desires are to not necessarily show their emotions but this is also um the queen of swords is very very direct and making a right decision so that they're really wanting to make a right decision in love and what is the possible actions Pisces lover might take? We have the King of Wands, and the King of Wands goes after exactly what the King of Wands, King of Wands wants. They are looking out after their own best interest. Let's see. Now we will go ahead and get the common energies between the two of you. Spirit, please connect with both Pisces and Pisces lovers to get the current common energies between the two of them in this love union, in this love situation and connection. Please be very clear and concise. Please show the current common energies between Pisces and Pisces love interest. Okay, here we go. So what are your current common energies? So it seems as though there's a pause. There might need to be some letting go, but I think both of you really need to see this um, partnership or union or even love from a new perspective. And what might, what are your common hopes and desires? So there is wanting to have victory in love. Both of you would like to move forward in love and really have that satisfaction and a win in love. So in you, Pisces, we're seeing in your energy, the Ace of Swords and in their energy is the Queen of Swords. So both of you may in fact want to communicate a truth. Both of you want clarity. Both of you want to have decisions and victory here. And what might, be the possible current common actions, strength. So it seems as though there might be patience, kindness. For some of you, there might need to be forgiveness. But overall, what we're seeing is there's a need to 
take some kind of gentleness in this situation. Perhaps one of you have been through a very difficult time and it's just going to take time and patience to heal this situation. So let's go ahead and get clarification for your side, Pisces. And understand that energies could be flipped, so take it as it resonates. Spirit, what is this Six of Cups for Pisces' current feelings and emotions regarding this love union? What is this Six of Cups for Pisces' current energies regarding this love union, please? Thank you. And we have the Knight of Swords clarifying the Six of Cups. So it seems as though you would definitely like to have some type of change and some type of um, definitely rapid communication, but also um, some type of, I'm, I'm getting catalyst. Some, you would like to have something that catalyzes this situation in your favor, of course. And what is this Ace of Swords for Pisces, please, in their hopes and desires? What is this Ace of Swords for their ho Pisces hopes and desires regarding this love union? What is this Ace of Swords for Pisces for their hopes and desires for this love union, please, Spirit? What do you want us to know about this Ace of Swords for Pisces current hopes and desires? Wow, okay, and we have the Six of Cups. So now on your side, Pisces, we have the Six of Cups twice. So this is showing me that either your intuition is is indicating that this is definitely a soulmate union or, or some type of um, past life situation, or it could very well be um, somebody from the past. Again, we are in the shadow phase of Mercury retrograde. Um, so that is definitely having an impact on memories of the past or longing for the past or reflection on the past. But here in your hopes and desires, you're definitely wanting to have communication or clarity um, with this person. And what is the Seven of Pentacles for Pisces possible actions in this love union? What is the Seven of Pentacles for Pisces possible actions in this love union, please, Spirit? What is this Seven of Pentacles for Pisces possible actions in this love union? What is the Seven of Pentacles, please, Spirit? Hold on, guys. One second. Okay. So what we're getting, Pisces, is... The Three of Pentacles is clarifying the Seven of Pentacles. So this is definitely wanting to have something long-term, wanting to come into partnership, wanting to have something to work on together. Let's go ahead and get clarification for your love interest, Pisces. Spirit, please connect with Pisces' love interest to get the clarification Pisces needs. What is the Seven of Wands for Pisces' love interest? interest, current energies and feelings regarding this union. What is the seven of wands, please? What is the seven of wands, please, spirit? What is the seven of wands? What is the seven of wands, please? I, I'm getting, um, I just heard, for some of you, this person may have blocked you with the seven of wands I'm seeing, like, blocked. Um, and spirit saying, you might not have even done anything wrong. It's just this person's headspace. We have the Queen of Swords for their hopes and desires. So this person may very well be very much in their head. And because of that, they're, they're just cutting things off and blocking things out so they can figure out what they want. What is the Seven of Wands for Pisces? Love, interest, current energy and feelings for this union, please. What is the Seven of Wands, please, Spirit? Thank you. Okay, so we the Seven of Swords was trying to pop out just a second ago as well, so it's good that it came out. Um, we have here Pisces, um, the Seven of Wands clarified by the Seven of Swords. So this person is definitely feeling some type of mistrust. Um, it might not have anything to do with you, but this person really is trying to find their way and they're not really sure what they want for what is stable and grounded and concrete. They're not even sure of their own emotions right now is what I'm getting, especially with the Seven of Swords and the Moon card. We're like trying to have some type of plan, trying to figure out a way, being very on guard, wanting that security, wanting that stability, but not knowing how to get it here. Um, and also the Moon card could very well be reflective of you, Pisces, because the Moon is the card to... Um, ident or signify Pisces as well, but it seems like this person is really having their boundaries up and not knowing how to get what they want because they're really in the dark. They This person may very well be struggling with depression. This person seems to perhaps be dealing with trust issues, 
perhaps they were previously in a situation where they were betrayed or lied to, or maybe they even did the negative behaviors in a situation prior. Um, I'm getting that it's not necessarily with you, but something that happened outside of you. However, you are clearly feeling the ramifications of that or the side effects or symptoms of what this person has in fact experienced. Okay, let's go ahead and keep going on. So that would definitely be why they're in this Queen of Swords energy is, you know, being on guard, not wanting anyone to trick them, feeling very like defensive, almost having a jaded approach in love. What is this Queen of Swords for Pisces lovers' hopes and action or hopes and desires? What is this Queen of Swords for Pisces lovers' hopes and desires, please? What is, thank you. And we have the Hierophant. So Pisces, it seems as though this person is in fact hoping to have some type of commitment. They do want to have, like in their mind, I'm seeing that they they desire to have commitment. They desire to have structure and, you know, something of a higher nature when it comes to love. However, they're very jaded. They might be unsure of how to achieve that. Um, but right now with the Queen of Swords and the Hierophant, Again, it seems like they're very on guard. They're feeling very demanding. Some of these people um, may feel like nobody's ever going to meet their criteria um, to be in a committed relationship. But, but that's also because of the mental space this person is operating from. You know, being that we start off with the Seven of Wands and now we have the Queen of Swords. You know, it seems as though this person does in fact want to have a union. They're hopeful to have a committed relationship, but right now it's they're being their own worst enemy, kind of. What is this King of Wands for Pisces lovers possible actions? What is this King of Wands for Pisces possible actions, please? What is this King of Wands for Pisces love interests possible actions, please, Spirit? What is this King of Wands for Pisces love interest possible actions? What is this King of Wands, please, Spirit? What do we need to know about this King of Wands? Thank you. And we have the Five of Swords. So this person is, has in fact, so this is the possible actions. This person knows exactly what they want with this King of Wands. The King of Wands knows exactly what they want and they will go to any lengths to get it. And we have the Five of Swords. So it seems as though this person is willing to fight what fight for what they want, but unfortunately it's at any cost. So whether that's you or whether that's um, their freedom or whatever, it seems as though this person is in a very guarded, very protected, very um, jaded or one-sided point of view right now where I, the word reckless came to me. Like they might be um, so defensive or on the defensive or on guard that it might be cutting almost, right? Like they might be doing damage that they don't even know they're doing in the pursuit of protecting themselves and in the pursuit of trying to guard their heart space. They're also apparently trying, in their mind, they have like this construct of what is acceptable to them. And it's almost like they'll railroad anybody or run over anybody that is very promising, very kind, very caring, because this person is not necessarily seen clearly because we have the Seven of Wands as a defensive posture, then the Seven of Swords, feelings of mistrust, betrayal, and the Moon card of not seeing things clearly. And what is this hangman for the current common energies, which really makes a lot of sense because Pisces, you you, you would like to have some type of change in this um, and have harmony in this situation. And this person is on guard. So we have the hangman as your current common energies which is that pause, that taking time out, a need for new perspective. So Spirit, what is this hangman for Pisces and their love interest current common energies? What is this hangman, please? What is this hangman, please, Spirit? What do we need to know about this hangman? What is this hangman, please, Spirit? Spirit, please come here and speak to Pisces. What is this? Thank you. Okay, and we're getting the three of pentacles again. So the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. So Pisces, what we're really seeing here is having a new perspective on the situation. And also, it's going to, in fact, be a letting go and releasing and sacrificing um, this 
there is this sadness and this disappointment over the situation that's a current common energy and then we we go from the five of cups to the eight of cups which is there's going to in order to come into partnership or, or work together there's going to be an, a letting go that is required a walking away from the sadness disappointments and feelings of um depression regarding relationships and and loss of love so this person may very well be dealing with um, significant emotional loss. Oops, wrong card. Um, so they're going to need to heal that. Whatever's making this person on edge and very guarded and very, um, I'm almost getting like confrontational. They need to take the time to heal, to walk away from that depression. They need to do the letting go in order for them to be able to come into any partnership period what is this chariot card for the hopes and desires for between pisces and their lover what is this chariot card for the common hopes and desires between pisces and their lover please what is this chariot card please spirit what do we need to know about this chariot card what is this chariot card for the common hopes and desires for this union wait hold on all right, so we have, ooh, all right. So you both are sharing the common um, hopes and desires of moving forward, of having success and moving forward. However, this is clarified by the 10 of swords and the star card. So there is in fact an ending. And like I was saying before, this person very well likely experienced some type of betrayal is dealing with issues of not being able to trust, of depression, of sadness. They could very well be dealing with commitment issues and they're feeling as though they're, they're having a very aggressive posture and almost like nobody's gonna get one over on me again. So here we have the 10 of swords, which is showing you know what you both want to move forward from difficulty from the difficulties that occurred in the past and that is going to definitely require healing and renewal so it's going to you know we see the letting go that needs to take place letting go of that sadness letting go of that depression walking away from the past that no longer serves your highest good and here we're saying you know you need to let go and you need to move forward from you know realizing that the worst is behind you and there's healing to be done so what you in the hopes and desires is definitely to have, have that healing um over the past and what is the strength card for the possible actions between pisces and their lover please what is the strength card for the common thank you and we have the three of cups so the current possible actions are to take that time to have that healing, to have that forgiveness, and to have that gentleness, Pisces. So um, be gentle, be gentle. Um, at the same time, don't be a doormat, right? No doormats allowed. Um, but here we're having, you know, just be kind, be gentle. Love is patient, love is kind, right? Um, and then we have the three of cups, which is in fact reunion. So the possible actions are to have that patience, have that kindness, just be very gentle. Again, be gentle does not mean allow yourself to be taken advantage of or allow yourself to be treated unfairly. You understand what I'm saying? But here, the possible actions are in fact the Three of Cups, which are is reunion. However, understanding that there's going to need to be a letting go of the difficulties of the past, that depression, that betrayal, that, um, yeah, I'm really getting mistrust, understanding you know, that that is behind you in order to move forward, that has to be let go. You need to, you know, have a new perspective on coming together into partnership and union. And when in your hopes and desires, both are hoping to move forward from the pain, from the difficulty, from the situation that is causing um, a blockage in this relationship and have that healing and the possible actions moving forward are, you know, to have that kindness, that compassion and forgiveness. Um, and the clarification for that is the Three of Cups. So there could very well be a reunion, but it's going to take some time. This person really needs to do a lot of healing. One card for the overall message of this love reading. Thank you. And we have suffering and silence. So, the, I mean, this could not be any more clear, Pisces. 
this person, again, this could very well be you or, or them, but take it as it resonates with your situation. I'm reading the side as them. So this person, um, if in fact they blocked you off suddenly without any commute, like it seemed like, what the heck, where'd they go? What's going on? This person is, is significantly suffering. And that's why we have the strength card as the possible actions is kindness is needed. Like gentle, 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 very gentle is what I keep getting. Like be very gentle. Like this person is extremely fragile right now. Whatever this person has gone through, their boundaries are up significantly. They are like slicing and dicing throughout their life, like cutting everything out that is any way um, that causes any type of noise for them. Because right now they, they are just trying to cope. They are just literally trying to get through every day. One card for, one oracle card for this message, please, Spirit. Like this person's really struggling, Pisces. Like you might not know it because of course they're, they're not saying anything because they're suffering in silence. But this person is really going through it right now. One card for, oracle for this message, please. One oracle for this message, please, Spirit. 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 Please come here and speak to Pisces. One oracle for guidance for Pisces, please. Thank you. And we have two. We'll see what they are. So we have happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So this is very significant for you Pisces because if this situation is bringing you down that means at least for now it, it will do you good to release it for now and follow your happiness do what's bringing you joy do what is true to your heart and resonates on a very high vibration um and honesty I can't always expect the truth from others but I can expect it from myself and I think this is these these are definitely cards of guidance for you Pisces for you to not allow this situation to bring you down and to follow your own joy and continue your life like don't let this stop you don't let it be a roadblock continue to do you and be in your power and live your life and be happy find your happiness and then honesty um clearly this person is okay this is a little raw this person right now is not even being honest with themselves. Um, and that's part of what they're blocking off the world is because for some of them, they are actually in denial about their own behaviors and the role they played in the past situation that is effectively bringing them down right now. Um, and they are suffering in silence. So when a person is in this headspace, there's no possible way for them to come forward with honesty because they can't even be honest with themselves. So here, Pisces, this is um, asking you to reset your expectations or in fact to not have expectations with respect to this person because that will interrupt your happiness um, and you cannot expect the truth from others. But please, Pisces, do be honest with yourself about the situation with respect to how it's impacting you and um, the truth about how it's... Um, impacting your happiness. So this is the message I have for you today, Pisces. I hope it helps. God bless.